Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, there lived a little girl who had a pretty red cape with a bright red hood. She always wore her red hooded cape, and that's why she was called Red Riding Hood. One day, her mother packed a basket with cakes and fruit. She said to Little Red Riding Hood, This is a gift for you to take to your grandmother. She's not well and will enjoy some nice cake and fruit. So, Little Red Riding Hood tied on her red cape and hood and set out for her grandmother's house. As she was going through the woods, she met a big wolf. The wolf spoke to her in a gruff voice. Good morning, little girl, he said. Where are you going with that nice basket of cake and fruits? I am going to visit my grandmother, Little Red Riding Hood said. She lives in the cottage at the other end of the woods. Well, well, said the wolf politely. I'm going to visit your grandmother too. <laughs> but I shall take the path across the meadow. I have business to attend to there. I'll see you <laughs> at your grandmother's. The crafty old wolf knew where grandmother lived. He also knew that the path across the meadow was the shortest way to reach Grandmother's house. Little Red Riding Hood stopped along the way to pick the bright flowers and to watch the butterflies flitting among the trees. So the wicked wolf was at Grandmother's house long before Little Red Riding Hood got there. He crept up to the house very quietly. He peeked in the window. He saw Grandmother sitting in her rocking chair, knitting a sweater for Little Red Riding Hood. But Grandmother saw the wolf too. She jumped out of the chair. She slipped into the closet and locked the door behind her. She did it so quickly that the wolf didn't know what was happening. The big bad wolf was very angry. He came into the house. He rattled the closet door. Then the wolf spied grandmother's nightcap and her shawl hanging on a peg. Ah ha! cried the wolf. I'll put on grandmother's nightcap and shawl and get into bed. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood will think that I'm her grandmother. Very soon, Little Red Riding Hood knocked on the door. <clears throat> Who's there? said the wolf, pretending to be grandmother. It is I, grandmother, said Little Red Riding Hood. Come, come in, my dear, said the wolf in his gentle voice. He drew the covers up around his chin. Oh, grandmother, declared Little Red Riding Hood, standing near the bed. What big, bright eyes you have. The better to see you with, <clears throat> my dear, said the wolf softly. Little Red Riding Hood came closer. Oh, Grandmother, what big ears you have! The better to hear you with, my dear, said the wolf still more softly. Then Little Red Riding Hood saw the wolf's cruel, sharp teeth. Oh, Grandmother, what big teeth you have! Better to eat you with, my dear, cried the wolf. He pushed back the covers and jumped out of the bed. Then Little Red Riding Hood saw that it was the big
big wolf pretending to be her grandmother. At that moment, a hunter passed by the house. He heard the wolf's wicked voice and Little Red Riding Hood's frightened scream. He burst open the door. Before the wolf could reach Little Red Riding Hood, the hunter lifted his gun to his shoulder and killed the wicked wolf. Little Red Riding Hood was very happy and she thanked the kind hunter. Grandmother unlocked the door and came out of the closet where she had been hiding. She kissed Little Red Riding Hood again and again, and she thanked the hunter for saving them both from the big bad wolf. They were all so happy that they decided to have a party right then and there. Grandmother gave the hunter and Little Red Riding Hood a big glass of fresh milk and took one herself. They ate up all the cake and fruit that Little Red Riding Hood had brought to her grandmother. And they all lived happily ever after. <laughs>